Someone explained why I just got a phone call from someone who said they mistook a Caterpie for a Meryl. I must be going crazy. Anyway, hello people out there, this is Michael of the Two and a Half Stooges, and this is Pokemon Gold Playthrough Part 50... 60? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so, there's one real thing I feel like doing here before going off to, um... Pretty much the final part of the game. Well, not even, but that's neither here nor there. Um, on certain routes, uh, you can find these things called gold leaves. Um, I'm just going to be flying to, or shiny leaves rather, gold leaves. It's a um, different generation entirely. Um, Bulbapedia does have a nice page on uh, shiny leaves and a chart of where different Pokemon with different natures can find them. Um, they serve no real purpose other than a nice, um, where's Route 31, how about? I like that idea. So was that? They serve no purpose other than kind of like showing up on the, um, on the Pokemon's profile when you look at their summary and, um, a star on the trainer card if you get five of them. Um, I said something about this a couple seconds ago. Where you find them does kind of depend on um, your Pokemon's nature. Um, basically, what you have to do is jump into the tall grass on a route, turn around, and talk to the Pokemon for a while. Um, it's completely random when you're going to find one of these. You're probably going to have to talk to them for uh, quite a while. Yeah, the sense of the grass, that's wonderful. And when they do find a leaf, um, you will notice because they kind of jump around excited, like really excited, a lot. It's a leaf dinosaur, I'm sure you'd be happy with the grass and all that. Yeah, I'm going to cut away to uh, when I find one. Well, I actually didn't have to cut away at all. That is one shiny leaf. Now, when you go and talk to um, Ethan or Lyra, the other playable character that you could have chosen at the very beginning of the game, back in New Bark Town, you can talk to them. I just said that. Hi, right, stupid. How are your Pokemon? Yeah. And she will go and ask you for um, four more of them. Uh, Lyra did say something about you only can find the shiny leaf if you have a close bond with your Pokemon or something. That's not true. Um, it's completely random where you can find them. Uh, when you can find them, rather, it has nothing to do with friendship. And I'm just going to go around collecting four more of them, and I'm going to go back to Lyra. Where's your 34? And that makes five. So, um, now you can go and fly back to New Bark Town and talk to Ethan or Lyra again. And when you do that, she will be saying, hello, yes. Um, I know that, that's kind of how I got the five shiny leaves. And you will get this, um, fancy certificate. Well, it's gone to the bottom screen now, but whatever. Um, stupid and MP4 fighting together, walking together, forging a bond that cannot be broken and will go on continuously into eternity. This bond is illuminated here. Fantastic. Um, I do believe that you can also you can uh, let me start that over. I do believe that you can get your um, shiny leaf certificate even if your Pokemon has like minimum happiness. So. Um, I imagine that would be kind of a ridiculous situation if you did that, and I don't know. 
Um, anyway, uh, oh, by the way, trainer card. This is in Hell Gold Soul Silver getting a shine leaf, one of the three things that you, three, five things that you can do to add a star to your trainer card. Uh, currently I have three, the other ones are beating the Elite Four for the first time and entering the Hall of Fame, um, getting to the Friendship Room and the, uh, Pokeathlon, I showed that in a video a long time ago, and, uh, It will come to me. Beating some, um... I believe beating one of the tycoons in the Battle Tower in the Battle Frontier, and I can't remember the fourth one. The... Fifth one! I'll just be, um, throwing that up in an annotation uh, right about now, I guess. Um, anyway, after that... Um, interesting fact about the game, I don't know if, um... The Leaf Crown or Shine Leaf or anything carries over when you transfer your Pokemon to 5th generation. I don't believe so. <clears throat> I don't even know if you can, um... I assume that the, uh... Status gets retained when you, um... Trade one of these guys over like Diamond or Pearl or Platinum or something. Anyway... I don't see why I wouldn't. Now that we're done with that... Uh, I don't know why I flew to this building, really. Okay, I kind of forgot this momentary. Additionally, when you get to Newburgh Town, um, after you have um, had your last tag battle with Silver, and enter, and when you enter Elm's Lab, yeah, Silver is awesome. Um, I didn't ever end up showing that battle with um, Silver and Lance and um, Claire that you can have in the Dragon Stand. It's completely optional. Um, I suppose this would be a good time to cut the video and sort of show it at least sped up right now, except that it was a terrible battle. Uh, I was horribly outleveled, so was Silver, and I ended up like revive spam spamming for 20 minutes, so um, I think I'm just going to say that uh, you can do that. That is also how you get Claire's phone number for the Poke Gear with your um, gym, leader, gym Leader rematches and all that. Anyway, alright. Now to the Pokemon Center for real. Pokemon League for real. Am I going to, like, ever say what I mean to say in this video today? I don't know. Righty then. So! When you come over here, this way is to Mount Sully, you'll see some scary strong Pokemon out there. Uh, scary strong would be like a Rayquaza with Outrage, 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 and Outrage, but there aren't any of those out here, unfortunately, so I don't know what that card's talking about. Um, repels. Um, additionally, I will be wanting the Dowsing Machine in Stylus. I don't think I can get the Stylus because that's still in the DS, and I don't, and I haven't taped down to the desk right now, so I'm using a pen cap. Same difference. Um, hope I don't never end up killing the pen. You know what? Good provision. Um, let's see. So you will be wanting a bunch of HMs when you come out this way, although, um, I believe it's only, like, Surf and maybe Cut for this part, and there is a Pokemon Center um, later on that you can go and switch up your team a little bit with. Here's something, okay, so... Well, there's nothing down there, and there's an item up there, and I will be getting there later. And, um, there's this pond here that you can serve across. There are no trainers from here on out, by the way, so... Well, no regular trainers, anyway. Ooh, item. What is this? What is this? What is this? Reaper Cloth. Okay, so that will evolve your Dusk Noor. Dusk Clops into a Dusk Noor when you trade it when I'm holding it. Interesting. <coughs> uh, surfing back over here. And who is that? Is that camera the photographer again? You again. You again. You know what? Why the heck not? Yeah, I don't know. 
That's another interesting feature of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the uh, random photographs you can have taken. I think you can have up to 20, and there's a hidden item up here somewhere. Full restore, okay. Save me the trouble of having to go and buy some. And what is this over here? This is a thing with cut. For some reason, I want to check for a hidden item in this area, although it doesn't look like there would be one, and I didn't hear the, um, Thousand Machine really going off. Um, when I came by here a little earlier, and what's in this house? You! Okay, I don't know what that's about, all about, but I didn't get TM-47, which I think it's Steel Wing? Yeah, Steel Wing. Um, hmm. Leave me alone. What do you want? Hero. So, I guess that's sort of useful. I would definitely, I do like stealing. I would definitely be teaching it to one of my Pokemon if, if any of them could learn it, and I didn't jump off the ledge and run into a wild battle. Alright, what's this? TM35 Flamethrower, okay. I believe they sell that in one of the department stores somewhere, but it's always nice to have a free TM. There, I don't know if that was hidden or not. I couldn't see it either way. It's a rare candy. Um, I am always looking for those, since I do still want to do a little bit more training before um, a certain final battle of this game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else hidden here. Uh, let's see. I, say, I, I don't know why I started saying that, but I kind of say it way too much. Either way, um, it's Pokemon Center you can go and um, heal up and tweak your team around and all that in there, but I don't really think I need to do that. Oh, hey, it's a uh, Quarksire. Uh, Mount Silver, alright. The final destination of Johto, really. Well, I don't know, it's up, kind of up to your interpretation of what's the final destination of Johto, because there are a few places you can go and uh, trigger events after this, but I think this is most interesting. Anyway, so you, first off, this isn't directly the way you really want to go. This is kind of a side path with some interesting stuff in it. Repels effect are off. Um, excuse me while I throw off my shoes here. Where should I go first? I think I'll go in here first. I'll just turn the sound off. I like how there's a random room with a single Pokeball in it, which contains an extra bell. Okay, so that'll power up um, super effective moves, I believe. <clears throat> um, the music in this place, where is it from? Ah. Oh, the um, All Thine Lighthouse. I never noticed that the first time I played this game. Thought that was uh, like completely random music. And is there anything hidden on either side of me? No, but up above there is. You know, I probably don't even need to be using this pen as a stylus or any stylus at all. I could probably just use my finger. It's probably better for VS screen, too. I think I'll do that. Um, Alright, the thing is going off. My finger gets in the way, though. Leave this rock. Yeah, Ultra Ball. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, before the question even comes up on the screen. Yes, so many HMs here. <sighs> anyway, uh, let's start for music. This place, this um, cave. I almost turned the sound off again. Oh, me. So, alright, so we're completely ignoring that bird of fire down there for the moment. I hear a hidden item. Alright, you know what? The pen is coming back. In the wall, another Ultra Ball. I thought I used up all my Ultra Balls earlier. Why did the game give me so many? Alright, so, um... Directly opposite from the Ultra Ball is a Hyper Potion. 
And now we can go and deal with this giant big bird of fire, I think. Once the rock climb animation runs. That's gonna take a while. Anyway, save your game. Uh, turn your battle animations on, because I'll turn those off again. At least I remember this time. I'm not having to restart or anything. Um, save my game again, because I'm obsessive like that. And talk to you. Hey, hey there, Moltres. Ooh, animation ended. I didn't notice that animation the first couple times I played these games. Um, I don't really know why. It's more movement than I'm used to seeing in these, um, fourth generation animations. Anyway, so I just realized I have the most horrible, um, thing, facing this thing I could possibly have. Meganium. Um, yeah, that's the, ooh. That is the most effective move that I could be using on this guy right now. And I'm kinda hoping you're not gonna hear yourself confusion, cause I, I don't wanna be the one that deals damage to you and not, um, not yourself, and run the risk that you'll KO yourself in confusion, and if you do that, I'll just, um, completely redo this video as if it never happened. Fantastic. Let's do a little more, shall we? Alright, good. No more confusion? Um. Um. Pushing the wrong buttons with a pen cap. PNG, get out here. You are using your famous Thunder Wave. Da da da. Safeguard is failing. Thunder Wave is right there. I'm a knucklehead. How did I forget what Safeguard does? Uh, me of all people who spends like half my time that's not at school and sit on a smoke on. Anyway, so you can do you not very effective damage. I'm going to start throwing heal balls, because that's all I have off I should have gotten and got some more stuff to throw at these guys when I was off camera, but oh well. Yeah, not even once. Come on. I don't want to be sitting here until 6.30 again like last time when I was catching Entei and Raku. God's sake, no. Um, no, I don't, I really don't want to attack you, especially not with, um, charge beam. What? I did not mean to switch out. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, the things here about, um, wasting power points on Moltres isn't one of them. Um, I really feel like I should have more to say about this giant bird of fire that isn't a Blaziken from the, uh, first generation instead of legendaries, but I really don't. Um, I guess before I speed the video up and then play some sort of music, um, I'm not going to be obsessive over this thing and reset and try and get another one if I don't like its nature. Uh, Moltres isn't my favorite Pokemon and it's fire and flying and it's got a four times weak to stealth rock and, um, <clears throat> um, I'm just not that crazy about it all, so I'm probably not going to be I'm trying to get a competitive one. Um, if I do, I have like three of them in black and white from previous playthroughs of this game. I'll just find the best one of those and um, tune it. But all right, I don't know what music I'm going to be playing here, but I hope you like it because you're probably going to be hearing it for a while.
two, three. Thank you very much. And um, that wasn't too bad. Um, I think that was about 30 some Pokeballs. Uh, as I said back in Arakuno, is usually what it takes to catch these guys. Well, has in the past anyway. Not necessarily um, in playthrough of Moltres. Yes, I don't think I'll name you. Uh, what did I name the other ones? I'm like big fancy versions of uh, 1 and 2. So, um. Let's see, what's the most complicated way I can think of um, saying 3? Common logarithm of a thousand? That equals 3. Anyway, so, um. Might want to save your game. I'm going to exit this place and just uh, go on to the Pokemon Center and. See what its stats are, because even though I'm probably never going to use it in a competitive battle, I am still interested in that sort of stuff. Excuse me a minute. You know, why am I wasting my time uh, walking out of here? Where are the escape ropes? It's not an escape rope. Here they are. <coughs> Excuse me a minute. The one downside of running around with the uh, running shoes on is that it's hard to... Uh, it's sometimes hard to hit exactly where you want to with where you're going and stuff. That sounds all super out loud than it did in my head. Regardless, I have so many legendaries in here. You came from another game, you came from another game, you came from another game, you I caught, you, 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 HM Slave, you. This one's legendary, right? Anyway, uh, let's see. Relaxed nature, okay. It's interesting. Um, some trainer ID fun stuff. Uh, relaxed nature, ridges defense for speed. Well, it's kind of kind of productive for Moltres, ain't it? Um, I don't know. I've seen defensive variants of Moltres on the internet in various places. Uh. Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Air Slash, and um, Safeguard. Fair enough. I kind of now wish that I had a more imaginative uh, way of writing Articuno's name. It's a string of like nine zeros and a one. That's not all that creative, but oh well. I can always rename him later if I think of something better, but that's for another day. Let's go back to Mount Silver.